one of the uh, saddest stories that I came across, this was in an L.A. Times article from 1999, was the lead singer of Motley Crue had sued Boeing, North America, who now owns the Rocketdyne plant, claiming that his daughter's death by cancer in 1995 was caused by radioactive material dumped in the ground and groundwater near his former home near the Santa Susana Field Laboratory. Vince Neal and his ex-wife, Cherise, bought a home in Chatsworth in 1991, a few miles east of Boeing's division. Boeing acquired the property in 1996 when it bought Rockwell International's aerospace and defense business. The suit claimed that Boeing, Rockwell, and Rocketdyne knowingly dumped hazardous materials such as plutonium and uranium near the Neal's Summit Ridge Circle residence southeast of Simi Valley. Their four-year-old daughter, Skylar, was diagnosed with a rare form of stomach cancer in April 1995 and died four months later. The suit claims that her death came as a direct result of the activities conducted by defendants. His Beverly Hills attorney, David Cordry, said the singer only recently learned about toxic contamination at the Santa Susana Field Laboratory after a Rocketdyne worker health study was released by UCLA researchers in April. April of what year? April of 2000 and, I'm sorry, 1999. Yeah, it was before um, Dr. Busby did his work there. And if he had had um, Dr. Busby on on his lawsuit, or if he'd been able to join Busby's law, the the lawsuit that Busby was involved in, he would have won. But you can't you can't face a huge force like the nuclear in- industry and the military with vested interests in protecting the nuclear weapons program and and nuclear reactor program, uh, you cannot face that and win as a single uh, plaintiff. You have to be a part of a really big group, a lot of people. And there have been very, very few lawsuits that have been won in the United States for radiation exposure. He was interviewed a few years later where he indicated there was a problem with the statute of limitations on the lawsuit, so he had to give up on it. Yeah, that's, it was the statute of limitations to protect the corporation. And do you know who the, um, the security company is at the, um, the nuclear power plants, but especially at the... Um, nuclear weapons laboratories. It's Wackenhut. Wackenhut is the security company that assassinated Karen Silkwood. And the uh, director of the Los Alamos nuclear weapons lab when Karen Silkwood was murdered was uh, Dr. McGee from the Kerr-McGee family who owned the uh, the Kermagee facility where Karen Silkwood was working. So you can see that all these interests are all intertwined. It's a it's a uh, it's a web of death and, and deceit and um, uh, greed. Uh, Wackenhut is owned partly owned by Barbara Bush. And I remember reading about George W. Bush and Jeb Bush hanging out all the time at a, a Wacken Hut facility in Florida that's uh, like a country club. Well, then I learned later that the reason they were hanging out there all the time is because their mother owned it. <laughs> so what... You know, what aren't they involved in? They have their fingers in every nuclear pie because it's profitable. So it sounds like Vince Neal was right about what he thought, blaming it on this plant. And he was asked in this magazine interview, wasn't there a nuclear meltdown at Rocketdyne in 1959? And he answered, yeah. So we had them dead to rights. If it was privately owned, that would be a different thing, but it's a government thing, and they're wrong. Of course, I asked the doctors, why did Skylar get cancer? 
obviously they don't blanking no but you hear these reports oh it's the smoking it's the food you eat it's this it's that you're effing four years old you're not exposed to that much yet give me a break it's weird because she went through six operations and they actually cut the cancer out of her it weighed like four pounds you only weigh 30 pounds when you're four it's like most of your body. They took me down to pathology. They actually showed me her cancer. I was like, I've got to see what's killing my daughter. It looked like evil. It was black. That's what pure evil looks like, and that's what was on that effing table. There were lots of people that lived there and got out. I sued not only the government, but the developers that sold the house and developed the community. Obviously, they effing knew. You've got to disclose that. If you've got to disclose if there's effing ghosts in your house, you've got to disclose that you're living in a crap neighborhood, even though it was multi-million dollar homes. He goes on to say, it's like the NASA space program. It's run by Boeing, who now owns Rocketdyne, but Boeing is contracted through the U.S. government to run the test. They said they cleaned up that basin down there. They said they took out like a foot of dirt, then sealed it and carted it away. But it's been there since the effing 50s. It's not a foot down. It's 40 and 50 feet down. You can't fight City Hall. There's another a-hole of the fucking month. Oops. <laughs> There's... <laughs> There's another a-hole of the effing month, the U.S. government. <laughs> I wish you'd leave that in. <laughs> I can leave it in. Hey, that's real life. That's what how people feel about this stuff. What can we do? We, we... Well, they, they should feel that way. Uh, let me tell you what um, Meryl Eisenbud said at a... AEC, Atomic uh, Energy Commission meeting in New York City. This was in the, fi in the 50s. Uh, he said this was discussing um, the nuclear bomb test and in, um, let's see, uh, Bikini Atoll and the, the ones in the Pacific. And he said, well, um, these Pacific Islanders, are not exactly like us. They're more like the mice. But um, it's okay to to bomb them with with nuclear weapons because um, they're they're not really human. <laughs> it was so horrible. It was so blatant. And basically, they just think we're all mice. We're lab rats for them to experiment on. Someone, someone from the AEC said when they found out about John Wayne, they said, oh, my God, don't tell me we killed John Wayne. Yeah. Because they knew they had detonated 11 tests there the year before they filmed this movie on the site. Yeah. And the, those are called the radioactive spaghetti westerns. And uh, Howard Hughes absolutely knew because he refused to ever go to Nevada uh, when they were doing bomb tests. He absolutely refused to go to Nevada. He wouldn't go anywhere near the bomb tests. He knew. 